Do your guns look like this and this? But you suck, so you keep dying. Well, this budget build isn't going to stop that, but it's going to cost less. The AKS-74UB is extremely underrated, and I think I know why. There's actually hidden stats for every gun in the game, that's why some feel different than others even with the same stats. The dispersion stat is basically the random horizontal recoil vector. No, not this stupid bastard. THIS STUPID BASTARD. When you compare the dispersion of the AKS-74UB to other, like, 545 guns, you'll see that it's actually lower than, like, all of them. I'll put a link to the Google Doc so you can compare the hidden stats of the guns yourself. Uh, big thanks to Numbers of Tarkov for doing all the heavy lifting. He does a bunch of really cool gun shit. He's awesome. Check him out. Now, before we get to the build, I want to talk about flashlights for a second. I have a problem with a lot of flashlights in the game where when you shine them on a wall, it'll kind of dim out your reticle. Now, I don't really like that, but a lot of other people seem to not mind, uh, so this is more of a personal preference thing. But I found that the 501B doesn't really do that as much, and it still has the blinding effect that other flashlights do. The 501B also has a more focused beam than something like the boulder, which doesn't allow you to see as far. While comparing flashlights, I found that the 501 actually has an alternative, brighter mode. The difference is pretty small, but I thought it was worth the mention. Now that we're done talking about flashlights, let's get back into the build. You're going to pick this gun up from the flea because it's always cheaper that way. You can usually find it for less than 40k, but it depends on the time of day. We're going to start this build with a Goliath handguard, the RK4 vertical grip, the NC Star blue laser, and the 501B flashlight. And this wouldn't be a budget video without the GP25 recoil pad. And finally, the VOMS P-LOD mount. The last one is really personal preference. I like the way optics sit on this mount. But you could change the dust cover to the standard AKS one to use the B18 mount if you like the forward position. This build ends up costing under or around 100k. The price of the gun fluctuates throughout the day. Now that we're done building the gun, let's go see how it shoots. I'm going to show you what the recoil is like with the VOMS P-LOD mount versus the B18. The first spray, I won't control the recoil, and the second one I will. And here's what it looks like when I try to control the spray. Now I'll show you how it recoils with the B18 mount. Alright, I think that wraps up this video. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna have a clip up in the background of me uh, clapping some fools. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. This is the first video I've done like this, and if it does good, uh, I'll probably make more. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.